Oh, it's going to be WrestleMania SmackDown on steroids. Yeah, that's about right. Quite the accurate assessment by a local voter ahead of tonight's debate. Many people tuning in at watch parties across the valley. Republicans gathered at a drive in theater in Caldwell, while members of the Biden campaign team opted for a socially distanced watch party. Our Joey Prechtel spoke with people at both watch parties. Joey, what did people have to say on both sides other than it was going to be a smackdown on steroids? Well, Kim, Republicans, of course, took over the Terrace Drive-In Theater over in Caldwell. People packed into their cars and tuned in to the debate that way. But here in Boise, a little bit of a different picture as the Biden campaign did take a different route. They did hold a watch party, but only for campaign staffers at their headquarters in downtown Boise. Now, folks were spaced out. They were all wearing masks and watching the debate that way. Before the debate, I caught up with the co-chairman of the Idaho campaign, Larry LaRocco, to get his take on Biden. I think he has the edge because he's speaking to the American people uh, truthfully and he's uh, uh, talking to them because he has a great deal of empathy. Uh, he's a kind of guy that feels the, uh, the pain that people are going through across the country right now as they're being isolated and as we're trying to uh, act as a community in this country in dealing with the uh, pandemic. At the same time that was happening, many Republicans and Trump supporters gathered in Caldwell, of course, at the drive-in. I talked with KIDO radio host Kevin Miller, who organized the whole thing. He told me they did the drive-in theater so people could still come together and watch the debate, but also give them a chance to socially distance and be safe from COVID-19. He talked to me about the expectations going into the debate. Joe Biden, the expectations are lower for him. Donald Trump has to hit it out of the park. Joe Biden, if he just survives, remember those first two, few debates, he wasn't that great. The last one with Bernie Sanders, he was. So if he just comes in and parries, then he's won. Now, they did put the debate on the big screen. However, they needed to actually wait for the sun to set in order to actually see it. Now, Trump and Biden are scheduled for two more debates, one on October 15th and then one on October 22nd. Meanwhile, the vice president candidates are scheduled for a debate on October 7th. Kim? Well, Joey, we would expect, uh, by the way, we should say that you'll be able to watch all of the debates right here on Channel 7. Joey, thank you.